Mercury in the eighth house. With Mercury in the 8th house of your birth chart, you have a mind that is like a concealed weapon. There is potential for your thoughts, ideas, and words to be doing a lot of damage. This is also because your thoughts, ideas, and words have been damaged at some point in your life. The 8th house represents your psychological pain that you have to work through. It symbolizes your emotional issues, but also how you can change them. With an 8th house Mercury, your emotional issues revolve around communication. At some point, you have gone through pain, destruction, crisis, and very possibly abuse in terms of communication. So this placement becomes about discarded toxic approaches to communication and having a rich, healthy, and empowering life of dialogue between yourself and others. This dialogue can also be with your yourself as well. Mercury is the thoughts that bounce around a person's head when the Mercury is in the 8th house. You have the potential to be outright brutal and harsh to other people with thoughts. It can create a cruel inner voice that can extend toward people as well if not careful. Few people can cut someone down and their words quite like someone with this placement. Sharp tongue is a pretty mild way to describe it. It's like a tongue that is a scalpel and can get under your skin as deeply as a surgical instrument. The thing is that when you have Mercury in the 8th house, your words have tremendous power. Any planet that's in the 8th house is very powerful in its expression. When the planet of communication is here, everything you say can affect other people profoundly, more so than you realize. The energy of the 8th house is mysterious and profound, so those with this placement will never fully understand why they can affect people the way they do or with the words. The key is to realize that you do have the power and do not abuse it. Doing so will only attract a lot of negative energy into your life, making you the kind of person who cannot open your mouth without being rude. Mercury in the 8th house can make a person go through life communicating in a way that seems rather harsh. It might just be a little bit too intense for others at times. It's just because all this mental energy has been bottled up, twisted up, and often battered and bruised. It's very common to see an house Mercury be a survival of mental abuse. As we now know, verbal abuse is just as terrible and physical abuse. Some might say it's worse because it's the least physical bruises. It's much harder to heal from being mentally abused. Oftentimes, someone with this placement will come from a family where this kind of language is commonplace. Many people will rip to shreds on a regular basis. The target of this could very often be the person with the Mercury in the 8th house. Maybe their intelligence or voice was targeted being told they were stupid, which was most likely not at all, as this makes for a very sharp person that they shouldn't speak up or their ideas were useless. Not all people with planets in the 8th house come from an abusive family, although it usually happens. Sometimes the trauma of these planets are experienced elsewhere. Since Mercury does not represent our grade school years, there could have been a serious power struggle between the student and his or her teachers. The emotional pain you went through had to do with the reactions you got from the instructors, for better or for worse. Kids with Mercury in the 8th house can really push their teacher's buttons. Maybe you brought out a dark side in certain pain or particular situation of being dramatically singled out and put in your place could have happened that somehow scarred you or maybe made you realize a certain teacher or two could have actually went out of their way to turn your parents or other teachers against you. You may wonder just what you did wrong. The experience of deeply dreading getting called in in class because of all the intense emotional undercurrents between you and the teacher may have thwarted your ability to truly use your vote. We can definitely see 8th house Mercury people getting into verbally abusive relationships. It might have been one life and changing one or a long string of ones. The 8th house is how we engage and experience sex as well. So the process of getting sexual with somebody could have come from a fraud. A lot of the mind games and power plays, regardless of the context, a lot of the 8th house Mercury people feel scarred by the experience of someone lying to them. Not just telling one lie, but being a horrible habitual liar. These lies can get into an unbelievable level to the point where it's just unforgivable and makes you question if you even know that person anymore. Becoming sexual with a liar, with someone who constantly got in your head or someone who is always tearing you down, is something that has still deeply affected you. These situations have served to create this feeling of torment around communication, whether you grew up being verbally abused, got in a relationship without any honest or loving communication, or went through many power struggles with the educational system there can be in the sense that you are using your voice always comes up as a painful consequences. This can make your thought and ideas very pent up because the hard experiences have made you easy about sharing. Yet this can also mean that when you speak out is an ongoing 
going to be a quite harsh because you see communication as some sort of power battle. And ease, simple conversation can easily turn to a vicious free-for-all or exchange your paranoia for suspicion. Since you endure dishonesty and mental trickery, Mercury in the 8th house can make you sensitive to any sort of lies as well as seeing fakeness or you're part of the conversation. You get the cliché... 8th house Mercury, who's always a conversationist, who hates small tick, always dismisses the fake, sometimes reads between the lines, etc. Yes, this placement does make you a deep thinker. Some of these traits are just the expression of an inhaled pain and lack of trust as well as dwelling too much on the dark side. The thing that Mercury in the 8th actually makes you comprehend your emotional problems very well. You can see them clearly and logically. It's just that you might think about them too much or mistake your suspicions or obsessions with intellectual insight. This placement does make you very perceptive. Again, it's all about using the power positively and wisely. This is why I call this placement the dangerous mind. In the wrong hands, such as the mental focus on gaining control can prevent any healthy communication. It's also about something that makes you also the type to be way too sensitive. <laughs> 